maybe the better thing to do is to actually check the spark at night or just when there's um, no lights on. Yep, that is positively and certainly what's known as a spark. This is the underslung silencer that I had to bring from my home place here. And that downpipe is actually for 20 diesel, Ferguson 20 diesel. So the problem with this when on the Ferguson 20 diesel is the silencer is only for a petrol or TVO engine. And this is a narrower pipe here. I had to fit that bit of pipe over to actually get it sealing on the Ferguson 20 diesel. So I'd probably run into the same problems here because those again, those splits are fairly long. But this is a narrow pipe than your standard silencer. So you had no choice but to fit this type of a silencer when putting the underslung exhaust. But again, the baffles and that only suit a petrol or TVO engine. So. What I'm going to do now is remove this back bracket and I'm going to have a go of fitting my original exhaust bracket onto it. See if it fits around there and I still have to work out where this bracket goes on the tractor. Some of these on the Ferguson 20s actually were bent at 90 degrees there and they actually used one of the bolts for the hydraulic pump and in which case when you remove them all the oil in the back end comes out. So in the 35 TVO, I'm not sure where this goes, but I have to have a bit more of my engine put back together before I can even try it out. So I'm going to take off this. I'm going to fit on the TVO downpipe and I'm going to start looking at some brackets for here. This is what I'm left with. And these are the options I have for clamps that are going to go from that pipe into there. Again, these slits or splits are very long, but the pipe does go right in, so it shouldn't be an issue. So I'm going to put all these on the ground now and try and assemble it and see which one of these. I obviously don't want to use the modern style ones if I can get away with it. So I imagine I try and work with either one of them. And I don't want to use your normal style exhaust clamp such as such as that definitely don't want to use those not a fan so yeah let's assemble this in the ground now and see which one's going to look the best and work the best this is what i've managed to do so far so i picked out this clamp a bit more patina on it i didn't want the real shiny ones because there's a bit of patina on this and that's the original clamp, so again I have to work out where that's going to be attached. So that's just on loose. I tighten this up a little bit there and when I give this a lift here, it does seem to, it does seem to hold. So I'd imagine that actually might even seal. So I'm happy enough that this, these two parts now are, uh, ready to be fitted. Just obviously I can adjust the length of that pipe going in and out there, depending on how far back I want this or how far back it should go and depending then on that bracket. Now that bracket of course can be slid up or down either way to wherever I try and fit it to. I thought originally it might have been here but then you have this getting in the way unless, unless, no there's a bit of space there. So you're talking you're talking that that length there so just the first bit of my tone there mm. might be a little yeah no it's definitely not going to work on there if this will hit it then I was thinking here, would that be too close to the front of the engine? Supposed to go on there, there's a bit of oil leaking out of there. 
We open that, a lot of contents of the oil come out, and I'm thinking back one of these bowls. Take off the nut there somewhere. Maybe that would work as long as it clears this. Mind you, that when he goes forward, and more so than back. Yeah, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to at least there's an awful lot of uh, nuts there that we can take off to actually to try for a fit. Okay, it'll be interesting. In an ideal world, I would have said one of these it's because it's nice and strong. Nice and thick, but yeah, this is definitely in the way. Okay, well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Another job I can get going at actually is fitting this front axle cradle back on because I should be able to get the pin in with when it's actually attached to the tractor. So, and if it isn't, sure, it's not a big job taking it off, but I'm fairly sure most of the baiting and the, the walloping will just be actually on the the bushings in the cross beam. Another little job done. Again, I am hoping that it's just going to be a matter of pushing that pin through those two holes. So, 